to BD. Sailing on a river of bitumen. I remember before when shipless I walked through the water until it filled my lungs and I thought I would go mad. Now the people who've not yet swam don't understand why I am cautious always at the banks. Inside the short walls of each craft they cannot know how they splash. Pale, thirsty leopard watching for eyes above the surface. When I was a child, I had a dream Gariel surrounded me in short standing water, but I was too young to know what they were called. I balanced on beams strewn above, but one bit my ankle and I fell dead. I spiraled above myself, my body, who I was, drifted away from her. From the crafts where there are never the pressures of the fully immersed, I look mad. I am angry. I talk myself up about it in my ship. If the walls have eyes and ears now, maybe they will learn something. The guys moving through the alley behind work where I smoke or working it out loud to someone in particular, it only looks like no one else is there. I hope I don't become them because they kind of hear us in each other. I hope I don't sound like that. I probably sound exactly like that, all angry. Maybe it's Denver. That's what Denver sounds like. Maybe it's industrial civilization. Not the beast, but the cage. The nature of the cage. Maybe it's me. You tell me. After a few years of hard swimming, I dreamt that we were back in school studying animals. Separated from my group, I colored Fehu over and over. Flames filled up the page. Red. Gold. Yellow. A light. We all put our papers into the box. Everyone was gone. I scried into a hole in the wood to my pale totem, my page. There was a cub beside me, mewling. I didn't have the language at the time for the species. I saw fire, fire in my face. I was afraid. A mother leapt out at me, all claws and teeth, her long tail wide. I felt my claws ripped out, burning. I had to fight her or she would kill me. I saw us from the outside, battling. Was the cub mine or hers? On the banks of the river, everything looks like prey to a predator with a ship who lives in the water. Now I know who I'm driving next to. Back then, I swore I would never be like them, that I would move under my own power, even if it was hard, that no one could save me like it has sprung to save others. Oh, but it was just that way back then, when slavery, when everything, that what is wrong is wrong. Now look at me flailing the vitriol and mostly only grateful that I don't have to wade the whole way anymore. I was born onto the back of a horse. Nothing I say can unbow my bones. I remember when I would wake up grateful to have the dream stop. Then I would leave to go to work and the water would rise to slow my limbs, to smother my cough, to touch me everywhere. I would make it home and dream about being late for work, missing the bus, being stopped, about driving. But I didn't know how, so I'd curl up under the dash and wait about being in fights I didn't know if I could win, and fighting hard, and winning anyway, about coming to the attention of power greater than me, and regretting it. In the bodies of water, an oncoming ship will always win against a swimmer. Sometimes it only looks like no one else is there. But hopefully one of us is learning something for all that the city has taxed me. How can I come to it? To what face of civilization do I address my dream about the many goddesses? How there were so many. And they were all so different. And absolutely necessary. And how lovely they all were. Golden and pearl adorned. And how they were all drowned. How proud the guy at the monastery was of the recent remodel where the painting that carried the last spark left of them hung. Though I don't know exactly where it is, I haven't been there yet. Maybe I will never know if this is a real place. It isn't on this continent. There is no interface for that kind of feedback going in either direction. That hasn't stopped me talking to no one in particular. I see fire. Fire I call. Not afraid. Not a warning. It is a summons to who all is left. Let us smoke, let us cook, 
Let us speak even when we are fuming. Let us swing the Sejeris wide enough to breathe. What is right is right. We need to talk about our lives and then do the right thing. <laughs>